So here we are in a typical knee wall. This is usually found in a room over the garage, uh, bonus room, master bedroom, and so on and so forth. And what we have is the uh, bad insulation in here with an R value, usually about you know 19 in the wall. And the R value, what that is, is, is the higher the number, the greater the resistance to heat flow. Now, the issue is this R value is, is basically decided in a vacuum where it's 72 degrees. So if this is determined to be an R19 in a laboratory, once you put it in a real world environment like this nasty area of an attic where you constantly have air uh, pounding against it and moving through it, it really degrades that R value. Now, what's happening in this room typically is you have a soffit down here. This is where the air is flowing. And of course, the theory is air is going to come up. It's going to follow these rafters. It's going to go up through these baffles and up into the attic. But in reality, what happens is that air moves across here. It's pounding against this wall, making this wall uh, uncomfortable in the wintertime and in the summertime. The other aspect or other problem is that the airflow is also moving underneath this floor. And so you have cold air coming across the floor, making the, cold, the floor cold. And usually people think, well, I just need to blow more insulation in that, that, that floor. And that's really not the answer. What you want to do is you just want to stop that airflow from going across your floor and through these walls. And we do that typically with a Dow Thermex product. It's a rigid foam board. It's about a uh, one inch thick, R6.5. So you're going to increase the R value overall in this wall. And that'll make it a lot more comfortable on the inside. And it'll help reduce those utility costs as well. Give us a call at Arbor Insulation Solutions. We can help.